Hey everybody, welcome back to Minecraft for Kids. As you can see, I've already had a bit of an adventure. Oh look, it's raining. That's great. So why don't I show you what I've been up to lately, alright? Right after the little da 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 Well, I may be in a bit of trouble. We're gonna find out. I, I went to get all this wood over here uh, with my trusty axe, and I kind of lost track of time. And now it's pretty dark, so I can I can see kind of where there were my bases, but monsters are definitely going to spawn in between now and when I get back to my bed. So I gotta be I gotta be pretty careful. I don't want to be in the water too much, because if I'm in the water and I see a skeleton and uh, it gets too close, it's very dangerous to fight skeletons in water. You might remember that. Uh, ooh, careful. Okay. Fall down there. Okay. It's, what? Look at this. This is happening again. This is not supposed to be. All right. Well, you know what? Minecraft. Whatever. All right. So also while I was, was that I, oh okay. Well, it's iron and I don't have a pick. It's funny. I lost my pick because I used it up, uh, getting stone. And I was going to show you where. Yeah. Oh man. Now I got to do this fast. All right. And you're like, but Finn, maybe you could just come back in the morning. And I'm like, yeah, I could. That's true. Really good point. Really good point, whoever said that. Um, I should probably listen to you. All right, here we go. Come on, at least, okay, good. At least a little more. I asked my dog in the background. He's like, hey, I want to go do stuff. Okay, so I'm going to get this iron. Oh, wait, oh my goodness. Okay, Jake, don't worry. We're going to go, we're going to go in a second. Just got to get this iron right here. Oh, man, there's even more of it. Oh, no, there's water. Ah, oh, Finn, what are you doing? Uh-oh, careful. Okay, get out of the water. And then get into the water. Get the iron. All right, swim out. This is so dangerous. I shouldn't be. This is so dangerous. All right, my dog is concerned. He's worried too. All right, I'm gonna run. And I think. Oh look, no, there's a skeleton. Okay, so there's a skeleton on the way back home. Oh look, and there's a couple creepers up there hanging out by my bed. All right. So see, I took down a lot of that to get some stone. Okay, how are we gonna deal with this? So we don't want to get within range of him, or else we are going to be in trouble all right and that's fine he's not gonna well if he jumps down to us he'll take some damage we still we don't have any armor remember that so it's it's a very dangerous it's a very dangerous time Ugh. let me get up here um okay how am i gonna get past that skeleton oh wait is he gone oh but there's a creeper he's definitely not gone i know i know buddy my dog is very worried okay hold on i'm gonna dig into this wall so i'm safe and uh, i'm gonna go I gotta take care of my dog uh, okay, okay, buddy. I hear you. All right. I will be right back Okay, took care of my dog. He's all happy now. Let's see. It's still still pretty dark All right, I don't want to get a creeper to follow me from above. So let's jump back into the water Okay, there's that cave we went into. There's the other cave we went into uh, Good. Okay, so I was gonna tell you I was my whole plan this episode was to tell you what I was gonna do With the three iron I had but now I have a lot more iron Give me that. All right, let's have a lot more iron now. So, change his plans a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, creepers, uh, zombies, skeletons. That's my bed. Um, all right. Now you can't sleep if monsters are too close. So, I'm gonna have to clear this out a little bit. Jump, knock him twice, maybe. Oh, if we get lucky. Oh, okay. Run, run, run. And oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I really thought I would have had him by now. Okay, there he goes. I got him. Ah. Okay, Finn. Just be calm. Don't don't have to be super excited about this. Okay, another zombie. Remember, this is what happens when you fight zombies at night. Other zombies appear in dark places, and they they want to find you. All right, let's see. Can I sneak into this bed? I think I can. Oh my goodness! Everyone, I snuck into the bed. It's gonna be okay. Okay, it's sunrise now, so the skeletons are on fire. That's good. Lots of free bones and arrows. Okay, we like that. The spider probably went over here, and the spider is fine now because the spider says, "Oh, it's daytime. I don't have any problem with anybody." So that's oh, oh okay. Skeleton can still see me though. Skeleton can still see me. Okay, there we go. And now that they are all burned up, let's go get their stuff. Oh, this is great. This is great. Okay, this is today is off to a much better start. Okay, except he's in the shadow. All right, am I fully healed up? No. Let's eat some mutton. All right, here we go. We're gonna heal this final heart, and then we're gonna we're gonna rush him. All right, here we go. Sometimes it's the only way to dodge. Okay, look at that. We did it. Wow, uh, that was e a lot easier than I thought it would be. 
And okay, we got some well, wow, so much stuff. So let's talk about all the cool stuff uh, that I got uh, for today. So you remember how I went down to the little island and I dug up a bunch of that for some stone. I got some sand while I was there. And then I went to the other island to get trees and I chopped out a bunch of those. I wanted the birch because it's going to be a nice difference to build with. That'll be cool. And got some birch saplings so I can plant some more over here. I won't have to go to that island anymore. Found some peony plants here. I don't know what color these make. I hope it's a light purple, but it might be pink. And if it's pink, I will. I got a yellow flower too and a red flower so I can you know make red, yellow, and orange you know, colored sheep. So I figured, hey, that'd be fun. And is there anything else in here? All right, so I've got this five iron now. And all right, I took the other iron here and I cooked it. I was like, what am I going to do with this iron? Now, normally you make an iron pick, right? So you go down and dig up even more important stuff. But, but since I have so little iron and because there's this chasm over here that I want to go out into, right? I am going to make a bucket. I'm going to make a bucket so I can take water with me and Check this out, here we go. And once I have the water, I can be very, very clever. So let's see, let's go over here and find some water. And we're gonna look for water that's in a corner. Okay, carefully, oh, that's a spider. Uh, and we're gonna do that because when I take this piece of water here, uh, this piece of water here is gonna flow here, and this piece of water here is gonna flow here, here and they're gonna make a new source block of water like this, watch. Boom, see, and it's just replaced. Where's my water though? What? Okay, there. That was weird. You saw what I did there. I took the water. Maybe I put the water back at the same time. Maybe. I... Oh look, my boat. It's all in shadow there. Okay, so I've got the water. Um, let's see, and I marked the location of the chasm roughly with a torch. Uh, I think it's over there. Yeah. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean this up a little bit. See what's in there. We're gonna we're gonna put a little torch. It's right in here. You know, just just to keep spiders from there. Yeah. Mm, carefully, there we go. Spiders, just to keep spiders from spawning up here. And then we are going to we're going to make ourselves a little a little safety water ladder thing. All right, and there we go. We're going to see how that that works. That's not super safe. I can ride that down. That's for sure. Oh man. Creepers, skeletons, zombies. Oh, it's a lot of stuff. Okay, remember to hold shift when you're on the edge so you don't fall over that. All right, so we got some water. We're going to get some more. There we go. Let's just keep some of that with us. Because we're going to want to start. Oh, no, come on. Let me go over here. I, I need to build a stairway over here, you think? Maybe? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to go down there just yet. All right, so what are we going to do now with this five other iron we have? Well, we are going to smelt it. Here we go. Put some of that in there. Uh, we don't have anything else really to cook, so we're going to, unfortunately, only burn five instead of eight things. But, hey, you know, it's okay. We got lots of stuff going on. So we need to get some stuff started. I built a hoe here so that we can make a farm somewhere. I should get a bunch of seeds, and I bet if I just dig up this grass here. Yeah, here we go. I'll start to find a bunch of grass seeds. Wheat seeds, rather. There we go. Just smash all this. It's also like mowing the lawn. I like that. It makes the whole thing look nice and tidy. Alright, I'm almost done getting seeds. So you can see I got a bunch of uh, seeds there, and I dug up this to flatten this out a bit. And I put a hole right here, so I can put the water right there. And that, and you may recall, will hydrate a whole bunch of land around this. So I'm going to hoe this land up, and I don't need to hoe it all up. How much? How many seeds do I have? Uh, I've only got four. Oh, but I do have melon seeds. I totally forgot I have melon seeds. Oh, that's, what a lucky day. All right, so we're going to, we're going to plant this here. We, we made more farmland than we needed to, but that's fine. You know, we're going to put some melons down. Okay, here we go. So melons are different than a lot of other things, right? And that they're going to grow a stalk here instead, okay? And once they've done that, they will eventually put a melon on a piece of land near them okay All right makes sense so far okay so in fact let's let's see here we we'll take this bone meal from the bones that's good and watch one two three there we go and that's fully grown all right not so bad let's do some of that but let's take some more of this and use it on a stalk so you can see that's the best i can do i can make it a stalk and now i can wait for it to eventually you know 
drop a melon somewhere. All right, so let's do that here as well. Oh, nice, great. So eventually those will make melons and we can make more melons as we go and it'll be fun. Let's plant these last three seeds we got from digging up the wheat. All right, and now let's go uh, check on this iron. All right, look, it's got five iron right there. What are we gonna do with five iron? Well, first things first, we are going to make some boots. Very first thing we do, let's get some boots on. There we go. Now we're a little more protected. We got one, look at that, we got one piece of armor down there. Okay, that's not the best, but still, we only used four iron. We have one left in case we want to uh, make some shears. Let's get rid of a bunch of stuff. Let's see, we don't need that just yet. Uh, some extra stone, extra wood, that'll be for building. Uh, these free arrows are nice, don't need that. We'll plant these. Oh, actually, let's plant these. Put these things away for now along with the extra wool and you know we'll, we'll take some wood here this is let's drop some wood with it we should always have some wood all right you, you should always have some amount of wood so you can make sticks and other things in case you get in trouble all right and we'll use a bunch of the coal we'll take that with us all right so so there we go but in the meantime let's plant these trees because we want more birch wood for building knock that down too um put one there and over here and i could do this in a systematic way a very ordered way you know, very like a pattern, but uh, I just like to do them kind of, kind of random for now. All right, that looks good. That looks good. Those will become birch trees, and we'll have more birch to build with. Because oh, look, a melon already. Well, look, already a melon. That's so great. Do I have my axe with me? I put my axe away. That's all right. I'll punch it. I'll just punch it. Look at that. And it makes six melons, or some amount of melons. This time, it made six. So that was really great. So all right, great. We got melons. We'll plant some more of those later. I really want to go down into the cave, so let's okay, let's make sure we can do that first. Let's make ourselves like another chest because this one's getting kind of tiny. All right, we want to put that over there, and you can go there and get that. Okay, there we go, bigger chest. We don't need all of this. I uh, definitely don't need that right now, or any of that. We have a lot of food, so we don't need the melon uh, so much. We won't need the hoe down there or these. We'll definitely want to make some more of those. Always a bucket of water is a good idea to have with you. I've got a pick, I've got sticks, I've got stones. I can make more stones. All right, let's make a second crafting table for going down there. All right, let's get some water. And we're going to make an infinite source of water uh, just because that's going to make our lives a lot easier. Instead of going all the way down here eh, for water, we're going to we're just going to go up here and do it this way. And in fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start over here where I did this already. So look, I have one water there. I'm going to dig up this. Okay, water there. I'm going to dig up this. Boom. Infinite water. As long as I take from one end. Uh, oh, wait. Sorry. As long as I take from the middle, I have as much water as I need. All right, it's getting dark again, so we're going to sleep real quickly here because we don't even have any walls yet. Look, this is not very safe, but I do have this bed right here. And remember, once you've, you've put a bed down and you've slept, if you break that bed, that's not where you'll come back if something bad happens. You'll go, I would go all the way back to that jungle again. So I'm going to leave this bed here. Oh, I'm going to sleep in this bed right now. There we go. Just to be super safe. And then we're going to go into the cave. Like, in, like right now. All right, here we are back at the cave. Now, I, I dug it up a little bit here. So it's a bit of an easier time getting up and down to the cave. Let's take a look. All right, so as we know, there's lots and lots of creepers. And that is not great. Skeletons. Actually, I don't see any creepers right now. I do see a lot of skeletons, and that's super dangerous. So, let's see. I wonder if there's another way I could go. It looks like I might just be able to make just a like a better waterfall. Just one block, one block further back. Look at that. that's funny how that works, right? All right. Let's take a look at it back here. Yeah, it looks like that'll get me on the solid ground, which I think is where I want to be. Uh, this is okay, this is very dangerous what I'm doing, so let's let's make sure I've got my full hunger, just in case I take some damage, which is likely. Oh, Phineas, what am I doing here? This is not perhaps the smartest thing I've done. Okay, I'm trying to be careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh no, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, hold up. Got one heart left. Kids, did you see that? Did you see what happened right there? Okay, let's put down. I see my hunger is full, so I'm healing already, so that's good. That skeleton's going to see me. So let's get down here. That was silly. I jumped down here blind without really being able to see <laughs> what was down here, and uh, I almost got blown up. 
by a creeper. That was that was very close. But luckily, I had a sword. I blocked with it. Now, here's the thing. In 1.9, which is coming out soon, uh, I will not be able to do that anymore. I will need a shield in order to block damage. So, I don't know. In the future, that, that trick may not work. Let's, let's put another torch down. I just want to try to keep monsters from spawning too close to this uh, way I have down here. All right, let's take another look now. Let's see. Okay, there's definitely skeletons and stuff, but um, might be creepers down there as well. Let's just put another torch down. Okay, that seems fine. Oh, man, that was stressful. Okay, all right, let's see. So we we can still get down. There's so many skeletons. I don't want to deal with that many skeletons. I wish I had a bow. All right, well, I don't, and wishing won't make it so. So let's let's see. What can we do now? Let's make another waterfall, all right, because we might as well. I don't want to go over there because of skeletons. All right, where am I going to make this waterfall? Where am I going to make this waterfall? How about how about right here? Let's, let's take this out, make the gravel fall down a little bit. Um, we'll just, let's keep doing here. Get the shovel out for that. Do do do. Gravel. All right. Now if that's gone. Put some water right there. Let's go get some more water from up here. We're gonna swim up it. Now remember, you can swim up the waterfall by holding down the jump button. Uh, but remember, I am running out of air, so I want to be careful not to do this too long. Uh, if you are running out of air, there's some tricks you can use, uh, which I'll show you on the way down. All right, let's grab some more water. I need to eat some more food because I'm not fully healed. Oh, okay. So you saw how dangerous that could be. All right. All right. So let's let's see. Let's jump now. Let's take this. And we're going to, if you're careful, you can kind of go in and out of the water. All right, so in and out of it like that. All right, let's hope there's no creeper over here. Okay, there isn't this time. That's good. Uh, that skeleton's going to see me probably. I don't know if you can see me through water, so I'm hoping... Oh, maybe you can. Let's see. Let's stand here blocking and see if he shoots again. If he shoots again, he can probably see through water. I don't, I don't think they see through water. I think he just saw me. Yeah, and took a shot. All right, well, good. Here's that iron we wanted. So let's let's dig up some space here and try to get to that iron. And that would be great news. If we have iron, oh, man, if we have enough iron, we might just build ourselves some armor in the field out here. All right. Let's get this iron. Okay, good. There's, I was hoping there wouldn't be just a hole underneath it. Because that, be, that would be unfortunate. Make it much harder to get. And be careful here. If we go this way, the skeleton will see us. So let's get this first. All right, how much is that going to be? Four, five more? And we'll have six. So close, so close to having, so close to having enough. All right, but we could at least make a helmet at that point with five. So, all right, let's do that. Let's make a helmet right here. Uh, while we're here, we're going to make a furnace. Uh, not that way. Do the, the, not that way either. This way is I'll make a furnace. The correct way. All right, let's do that. Put this in here, and that in there. Let's make some more torches while we wait. Whew. Okay, you know what? I'm going to calm down. I'm pretty excited because this is wicked dangerous down here. All right? See that skeleton? Zombies? I do need to get down there. I'm going to check the F3 debug screen. I'm going to look over there, XYZ. So my X is 20. My, my Y, which is what I'm curious about, is 44. And look at my Z, negative 3,000 something. Oh, oh, zombie, zombie. Let's deal with zombie first. Hello. Oh, and skeleton. Who can see me? Get back, Mr. Zombie. Hello. How are you? Sorry. No. See, look at that. We stayed calm. Oh, that skeleton's... He, oh, he wants to shoot us. All right. Let's, let's build a little wall. There we go. So then he won't think about us as much. All right. Let's see. Are we almost, almost done with that? We got five. Five is good. Take the five. Make ourselves a helmet now. There we go. All right. Okay, now we're now we are in business. Look how stylish we are. We have our helmet. We have all that stuff. Let's get this while we're here. Okay, we're gonna leave these here for now, probably, uh, just in case. Oh, well, he can still he's still trying to get at me. All right, so there's. All right, there's a way to do this, and it's it's dangerous. It means I'd have to charge him. Just charge right at him and hope I can get him before he keeps knocking me back into the water. And it's pretty dangerous because. As you may recall, skeletons in water. Okay, but the water is flowing that way, so I'd have that advantage. Alright. I'm gonna wait till it shoots again. 
I'm gonna jump. And go for him. Okay, there he goes. Oh, there are three of them. Oh, well, that is much more than I bargained for. Okay, well, let's hang out here and wait for them to come to us. Okay, yep. Yeah. Hey, hello. Okay, uh oh. This is terrible. This is this is what I've told everyone never to do. This is what I've said never do, never do. Okay, let's. Whew. Wow, do you see? Do you see that? Get away from me, Mr. Skeletons. Get away, all of you. Get away. Okay, Phineas, be calm. Don't just. Let them shoot each other. Let them fight each other now. Okay, that's good. We're staying calm. We're waiting. We're healing. All right. Oh, the, that bat almost. Oh, did did the skeleton drown? He may have drowned. It's funny. I didn't think they'd have to breathe air, being skeletons and all that. I don't know. Maybe there's another skeleton over here. There is, and a zombie. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Boom. Okay. Let's make some lights. Let's get some light going on here. Oh man, another one. Why? Ah, ah, ah. Make another little wall. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's. Whoa, whoa. He's right there. He's so fast. And another one too. So many, so many skeletons. I wonder. I wonder if there's a skeleton dungeon around here. Oh, there might be a skeleton dungeon. So many skeletons. All right. Let's heal. Let's eat up here. Okay. Let's make a little stairway up. Oh, I just took that torch out, which I wanted to be there. All right. Looking around, another skeleton up there. Now, it might be there's a lot of skeletons, or it might be. Oh, careful, careful. It might be. One more time. Bam! Look at that. It might be a skeleton dungeon, which would be really cool and also really dangerous. Ow! Wow, see, they can see you from so far away, and he just totally shot me with an arrow again. Alright. Alright. Oh! Whoa! Yeah, there's got to be a skeleton dungeon around here. All right, we're gonna have to go looking for it, which means we're gonna have to put light in a lot of places. All right, not seeing one yet. Look for green cobblestone. Green cobblestone underground means you're looking for a dungeon. Oh man, I was so certain there must be a dungeon, but now I don't see one. It may have just been there were a lot of skeletons. Careful now, because I'm in a chasm, so there's monsters up on ledges. And sometimes, if they're low enough, they'll jump down to get you. And that can be unfortunate. Ooh, iron. Okay. Well, it looks like I was wrong. I don't see a skeleton dungeon in here. Maybe it was just I got unlucky and there were a lot of skeletons. Whew. Look at that. Okay, let's let's eat again. Get that last heart back. We'll need that. Make some room here to get some more of this iron. Whew. Okay, well, I am pretty excited. I don't know about, about you kids, but uh, my heart is... Whoa, look at that. that. Those are a lot of arrows that are in me. That's... Wow, that's terrible. So, I got four iron here, and another one is five. I still need more, so... Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna keep looking. Alright, well, it's, that was pretty good. Um, there's still guys up there. There's I was hoping there'd be more of a way down. I'm gonna grab some coal, I guess. Might as well, right? While I'm here, I, I'm gonna be really careful and look around for creepers again. Wow, that was dangerous, but we made it. We made it. We uh, I was worried at a couple points there that perhaps I was going to get wrecked by those skeletons. Uh, and when I jumped down there to fight that one skeleton, I did not know there were three skeletons. And I think you see how dangerous that was. Uh, but also, you may have noticed how I used dirt to make you know walls there, impromptu walls to, uh, to stop me from getting shot by arrows. So I did that pretty quickly. I'm pretty proud of myself for thinking about that under pressure. Alright, this is, I don't need all this coal here. Alright. We'll leave some of that coal for someone else. Not really, it's a single player world, so no one else will ever come for that coal. Alright, and we'll leave a bunch of this too. And we'll call that pretty successful for this chasm. Alright, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll check out some other caves now. I, I've seen a few others, so I'm going to swim to the top of this. It takes a long time. Alright, so look at my air as I go. And if I need air, I can, I can just kind of slowly move out of the waterfall. And back in like that, just very quickly, so I don't fall down, but I still get some more air. And that, my friends, is how it is done. All right, almost up this thing. Now be careful, just hold against the wall so the water doesn't push you back down the cliff again. Look at that creeper! Look at him! Oh, he wants to come up here and blow us up, but he cannot because there are no stairs. So, haha, -ha on you, Mr. Creeper. You may not hurt us. All right, so let's. Now we gotta still be careful here. But we made a stairway, we'll put some torches on it. 
So that should be, oh good, the skeleton's over there, they see me. Oh, an Enderman, look at that, that's nice. So we're just going to ignore him. Oh my, well, okay, so, oh my goodness. We need to build, ouch, we need to build a house. That is clear and obviously what needs to happen next because this is too many monsters. Uh, I, I don't want this, first let's clear out this creeper because he is also just too dangerous to have around. Knock him around there. Back, back, right, back, right, back. Oh, wow. I messed that up. That was still dangerous. Oh, spiders now. Oh, zombies. This is terrible. What? It... All right. Well, another skeleton. Oh, there's everywhere. All right. Let's just, let's think about this. Let's think. Now I'm running, which is using up food. There's way more creepers over there. We don't want to deal with them. Okay, we're going to try to deal with the skeleton, at least. Boom. Good. We got him. Spider. And we're circle straight the spiders. No big deal. All right. Lots of zombies. There's a creeper. Let's retreat, find some more space. All right, we need to eat because we're, we're running a lot. And we need to make sure we keep our health and hunger up. All right, let's gonna try to rush this skeleton. There we go. Oh man, run from the creepers. Hold down the block, get into the water. Okay, I'm gonna swim under the water. Wow, that was too many monsters. Now I'm gonna swim far away into the water so that monsters mostly don't see me, but they are gonna, uh, they know, look at that. They are, they want me, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see. Here's the problem, kids. We have a bunch, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six zombies, two skeletons, and two creepers, all of whom uh, want me not to get back to my bed. All right, so, now luckily the zombies are slow and stupid, so they will follow me, but they can't swim very quickly. I can swim much faster than they can. So I'm going to try to get over here and go up a stairway again and get back up to my bed and see if... Oh, there's another creeper. Alright, see if maybe I can make some more room. I may have to wait for daytime. And it is dangerous to go to bed uh, in the dark uh, when there are creepers by nearby because they could potentially blow you up while you're in the bed, uh, which would be no fun for anyone. Alright, so once again we have all these zombies. We could just move the bed, I guess. That's one option. We could move it. Yeah, let's, let's deal with you. Look at that. See, one zombie at a time, even two. Not a big deal. But still, be on the lookout for creepers. There's another zombie. Alright, I think this Enderman is way too close. He's he's going to stop us from sleeping, probably. Let's, let's give it a shot. Oh, no, it worked. I guess they don't care there's an Enderman over there. Okay, no creepers, no creepers, no creepers. Alright. Boom. No creepers. Excellent. Victory. Alright, so I'm going to clear out uh, these creepers over here eventually maybe and get all that free stuff and I'll catch up with you in a moment. Look at that. See, this creepers creepers don't burn up in the sun, so you really got to make sure you go and you clear them out. Ah, I am so bad at fighting creepers today. This is look at that. I've I've made so many potholes. Get get away. Ah, look at that. Well, well I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm going to I'm not going to build over here, I guess. Although eventually I'll have to fill this in so it'll look nice. But all right, you know, let's take let's take some time today and make ourselves just a little house, just a little starter house here. Let's get some birch. We're gonna do a lot of building with birch if we can. All right, that's nice. All right, so let's let's think about this. How do we want this house to be laid out? So it's gonna be a small one. It's gonna be a small one, right? So let's start with let's start with some very basic. You know, it's just some some birch. Okay. Got that there. You want some room. We're going to put the bed back there, maybe. You know, actually, no, here. Just, where's my axe? Did I use my entire axe? No, it's over here. Let me get this axe. All right, I'm going to dig that up a little bit. I, I have some plans for that. So I'm going to I'm gonna leave the bed where it is. I'm going to make the back wall flush with the bed right up against it. Like that. All right, I'm going to make sure there's some room to stand. And that's fine for now. Okay, and it's gonna, again, this is not, it's not an amazing base yet, but whoops. But we're going to definitely have enough space. Let's see. For things. All right. Good. I like that very much. And just, you know, a few more out here. There we go. I think that will give us the space we need if we just here. We go. Uh, can we go? Where's the, where's the door? It's not going to be perfectly centered, is it? Did I? Well, maybe. That's pretty good. All right. So we're going to put the door right here. And we're going to make the door out of, we could make it out of birch if we wanted to. And that would make a door like that, make three doors like that. But I don't want that because I can't see out those doors. I would like this, the oak doors, 
because I can see out of those. So that's a little better. All right, let's put that there. Now that's obviously not going to help us too much. Uh, everything can jump over these. This doesn't protect us. So clearly we need a higher wall. Let me eat some more chicken. Man, I am very hungry. Running around in the dark and fighting monsters makes people very hungry. All right, let's see. Uh, while I'm here, let's let's just grab these. These are all ripe now, so let's grab a bunch more of these, knock them off this tree, and then we're going to replant them and get back to building the house. All right, let's see. Where are those? There they are. I've got, I don't need all this. Look at that. It's crazy. Put all these over here. Bam, bam. All right. Oops. There we go. And now we're growing cocoa beans. We have plenty of cocoa beans, more than we could need in a long time. All right. Let's see. And we want you know we need windows as well. We need windows. Let's get sand out there. All right. And put the sand in. And we're going to put just a bunch of coal in there for, you know, for later. All right. So we need windows. We're going to want a window probably here and here. All right. So let's let's get these out. Put that there. Yeah. Same thing. And here and there. Bam. So we know we have nine in there. So we have nine windows total. So see one. Two. I don't want you here. What are you doing? Get out. Get out of there. Okay, so that's going to be four we have. Uh, that's good looking out that way. And then at least, you know, one, <laughs> two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, we can. We're going to try to make some more windows here. Let's get these. Actually, we can make a bunch of these by making these into glass panes. Oh, Phineas, you're so much smarter than you were a second ago. Good job, Phineas. Thank you. All right, let's see. Put this up here. Um, we're definitely going to want to close that off. Just for aesthetics. There we go. There's a three pane window there. That's nice. That would be great if I can make this mostly windows because I'd like to be able to see if there are monsters out there, right? All right, let's take this. Let's see, what do we have? Six of those. I think that's what we need. Uh, six glass, I believe, makes 16 glass panes. What a deal. All right, so bam. The glass panes are nicer because they, see, they don't take up a full block, so that's nice. All right, let's see, let's do this, and they connect with each other like that. And remember, this is glass, so if I break it, it's broken. I can't get it back unless I have a magical pick, which I do not currently have. All right, so let's see, this is looking, this is looking pretty good. Uh, do we want to change up the colors at all? Just maybe a little bit, right? You know, because it's, it looks kind of samey right now. Oh, you know what we'll do? Here's what we'll do. All right, we're gonna make. Well, I don't know. Are the bricks can? I don't think they're gonna look so great together like that. Um, we shall see. All right, let's just for now. Let's try the oak. Let's try the oak. Let's spice it up a little bit. No, I don't like that. I don't like. I like this. I don't like this. So we're gonna have to get rid of that. Um, maybe we'll just continue with the birch for now. Yes, let's let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. Let's just continue with the birch for now. There we go. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is. I feel much better about this. Okay, so as you can see, I ran out of I ran out of diorite. I have one left, but I don't really want to. So what I'm going to do for just a little bit of difference, I'm going to take the smooth stone, make it into stone bricks like that. And put one of these here, one of these here, and then check this out. I think this is how I do it. I take these, which makes these, and I do that. Yeah, look at that. I get this chiseled stone brick, and I'll put that right there, just to spice things up a little bit. Okay, and we need a roof as well, so let's see, how much of this do we have? We have five of those, we're about to have six. I think that's going to be plenty for us. I'm going to make our, a roof for us, and we're going to make it out of half slabs. And that's, oh, that's not going to be enough at all. That's not going to be enough at all. I'm going to need a lot more. So what I want to do is make the roof out of half slabs, okay? And why is that? Because, look at that, this is a half a block? This doesn't count as a full block until I do that, okay? And I take it apart, boom. I get them both back. If I just do this, that only counts as half a block, and a monster can't spawn on half a block. So if I make my roof out of just half slabs, then monsters won't be able to spawn up there, and I won't have to worry about creepers falling off onto my head, and I won't have to worry about uh, putting torches up on top of my house, you know, and just having it look like torches, because that doesn't look super great. All right, let's, let's get this off of here. Let's get some dirt here for some basic scaffolding for the stuff we stand on while we get up to places like the roof. I'll just let's start it. We don't have nearly enough. <laughs> but we're going to make more and you know I won't make you watch me cook all of that, but you see how this is going to start coming along? It's going to look like that. So this is a pretty this is a pretty basic house, but we're going to this is where we're going to start with. All right, I'm going to finish the roof and I'll cut back.
All right, look at that. See, there's there's the house. I got the roof on it. I did some farming while I waited for stone to cook. I've got some more melons over here ready to go. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Let's take a look at the house. It's pretty basic, right? It's got some, you know, this isn't perfect yet. I'm going to make it fancier someday, but uh, we also don't have a fancy floor yet or an automated door. It's all just very dirt down here, but I think, you know, we've got enough stuff to, to really go down to the caves next time and see what we can find. But I think for today, that's going to be our adventure. I remember, by the way, kids, always put torches inside your house. You need lights in there or else monsters, all right? Okay, so this has been a great day for me. I hope you all had a really good time. Oh, and one thing I need to remember to do is to give a shout out to my friend Brick Gamer. Uh, also goes by EA Vlogs. That's his channel, I think. So I'm going to link to his channel, whichever one it is, uh, in the down below. So you can, you can see you know, where that is. So you should check him out. Okay. I hope you all had a great time. I had a great time and I'll see you all in the next episode.